It's time to finally review the Sword in the Stone. And heavens above, drop the sword. Whoever becomes the rightful king of England, but many have tried and many have failed. Leaving the entire land into darkness. Also, we get introduced to the best character of them all, Merlin. A magician that can tell from the future, or in the past. Of a sidekick, Al Archimedes. He's where we get introduced by... A young boy. Wart. And he can tell he'll come to his place at the right schedule. With the older brother, or half other brother, Kay. And you can tell what he does. Also, there's Bambi's mother. I dropped the controller. As I was saying... And he meets Merlin for the first time. And he was being chased by a wolf right behind him. Also, he looks like Mowgli. Because this we like to do copies of these characters. And he tells them he can send everything into the future. And Ward tells he'll uh, be ready for school. Also, this is the best part of the movie. Sing that song. Song called... And I almost forgot to mention, this movie is a comedy, which is, it is. He's a magical magician, which you already know that. Enter to the castle. And he d does take good care of him. And there's another reference from the Jungle Book. Also, Ward's voice keeps changing. Because the voice actor that plays him kind of hits in the word puberty. It's like hearing different voices. He believes in the magic stuff. And he's there to educate the wart, make him smart. Also, a uh, old man named Paranord got the big news to London to make sure the new king ain't gonna knight the round table of horses is end up in a battle. What they're doing, what he's doing is practicing. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. It's ruining my review here, so I'm trying to fix it.
This doesn't usually happen all the time. Okay, you know what? Stop, stop, stop. Let's do this in part two. Oh, never mind. Anyways, this movie's about educational stuff, a perfect learning for young kids. And here's my favorite scene of the movie where they turn to fishes. Show him about how a life works of animals, also being a fish. We got an interesting song. One, two, three. <coughs> hey, hey, night. That makes the world go round. This song is actually pretty good, too. But I want to make this review a little bit short. This song is really amazing to listen to for younger kids to learn about and how. Occasional works with sea creatures and other amazing things happening. But the education cuts short where they get chased by a big bass fish. I admit this scene is pretty exciting that Wart uses his brain to be smart to outwit a big monster sea creature. And this scene also makes me laugh. Well, Archimedes actually saves Ward from being eaten. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. So out there, this crazy chase scene, and he changes him back. And Ward explained that. Archimedes saved them, and he was waiting for his practice. He tries to explain to them that he was a fish, and the could see nasty bass was trying to eat him, but they think it was nonsense. Anyhow, we also get to another interesting scene. And that he has to do his chores and go in the middle of the woods. But Mervyn can actually help help him and with his duties. You know, four. <laughs> like I got admit, this scene is also pretty. Hit the jazz, man. This scene is really, really perfect. I love this character and how amazing he is. Anyways, they become squirrels, and they introduced by this other female squirrel that doesn't know that he's a human boy. And believe it or not, 
she might she might be cute but she's kind of annoying and he sings another interesting song There's a wolf again. Gotta admit, this scene is just so wacky and silly. I just love it as a kid. I didn't find it hilarious. And this scene, too, with this other female squirrel that loves Merlin, too. You know, he tries to explain everything to her. Well, like a hijinks and soons. Ward falls down on a branch that's broken. That nasty the wolf is ready to eat him. Bam! Ward was about to get eaten, but luckily the female squirrel say him, leaving the wolf to his face. Wow. <laughs> Change him back just in time. <laughs> so here we are. We're on the magic. Snake, snake. And she realized he's just a human boy. And we get to like the sad moment that you feel sorry for the poor squirrel girl. It's really sad that we don't ever see her again. And then the next thing it goes back to wackiness. Between this lady that looks like horses. Great ancestor. <laughs> And we get to another funny scene of these two who guys get beamed up by possessed laundry stuff. <clears throat> I mean, dishes and mops. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. <laughs> also, we'll continue this in part two, so I'll pause it right here. You like and subscribe, folks. Folks, if you like me reviewing the Sword in the Stone, which I actually rented from the library my own card. Or by the way, so I can review this movie. See you in part two.